again, you know, I, I trusted Chess and Ian that they can see something that I can't. And they always had faith in me. And I'm going to get emotional again, but they always had faith in me when I didn't have faith in myself. And the success is, is proving itself right now. You recently had an amazing launch event. Tell me how that went for you and how you're basically what your email said, like how you're feeling now, what happens in your launch event. So we launched Queen Ager VIP a uh, week ago today. And it was a project that without the help of Shasta and Ian probably would not have come to fruition, at least not in the way that it did. Um, you know, we did a lot of work with Shasta and Ian diving into what it was I was looking for and what was wanting to come out through me and what I had a taste for. And through all that discovery work, we came up with Queen Ager VIP, or at least we named what it was. And once we had that, then we worked on building that base out with an amazing website that is so activating and so gorgeous and really resonates with so many women that are in the space that I'm looking to connect with women in menopause, women who are looking for answers, who are looking to enjoy the life that is they're deserving, that is they're worthy of. Um, and so once we had that, everything else to launch the business went from there, from the bringing speakers together, the amazing collateral and the wordsmithing that really was activating to those women that attracted the women that I wanted to connect with, not just any woman who is in menopause, but really the women that I want to work with. And the launch event could not have been more successful. I couldn't have even imagined what happened. I remember standing on the stage and I'm going to get emotional just thinking about it because right at the beginning of the day, when I got up on the stage for the first time and looked out into the audience of 60 women looking back at me, many of them who I talked to afterwards came up to me and said, you know, I came to this event and I really don't even know why I signed up to come to this event. I wasn't sure what it was all about but I am so thankful that I came because I found a place where someone else understood what I was going through. Someone else has had the same experience that I'm having. And I finally can feel heard. I finally feel validated. And I could not in a million years have imagined that feeling. And there were some specific I think surprises that also came out of that, like the contacts and the people that want to oh. work with you. Tell me about that, about what actually sort of happened also in concrete terms from that. Absolutely. Um, even just leading into the launch event, um, as you know, we were promoting the event, I was talking to people, I was attending other networking events, talking to other women who were in my target market about the event, about what it was that I was doing with Queen Ager, what it was kind of about. Um, and I met other women and invited them to come and see what we were doing. And so once the event happened and I connected with those women, first woman that I spoke to as the event ended, she looked at me and said, oh my God, I need to be on your next stage. Please, please invite me to your next event. I want to be part of this movement. I had another woman reach out to me and say essentially the same thing. She's in the health and wellness sphere and came up to me and said, I would love to connect with you. This is what I do. I would like to be part of your movement in terms of health and wellness. How can we collaborate? How can we work together? Um, I had another woman come up to me and say, I want to interview you for my podcast just things that, you know, I sat there and thought, me, you want to interview me for your podcast? You want to be on my stage? I I honestly never, 
it never would have occurred to me that people wanted to be on my stage or want to hear what I had to say. And before working with, with Shasta and Ian and, and really going into what it was that I was about, none of that probably would have happened. Oh, well, it's not even probably. None of that would have happened without doing that work and without having their insight and their ability to make me see what was inside of me that other people want to see mm. and giving me that voice to be able to actually articulate what's inside. So how is this all feeling to you now, Sandra? As well, you know, I'm still a little bit overwhelmed. I'm not going to lie. It's still feeling a bit surreal, but I'm also so excited and so empowered about what's going to happen next and about what the future holds for Queen Age or VIP. You know, it's such a need in the marketplace for women in menopause and women in midlife to be heard, to be validated, to find the information that they're looking for. And not only that, but just to connect in a way that makes them feel good and that they can enjoy the life that they want to have with those VIP experiences. So the future of what's happening next with Queen Age or VIP is just taking off. You know, we're starting our first virt monthly virtual lunch and learn is happening this month. We've got a theater experience that's coming up in February. We, I'm already now looking at doing another speaker conference all around money and wealth management. In the spring, we're looking at doing a golf tournament in the summertime, just all kinds of great connections that are happening and just giving a space to those women. And I am so excited and incredibly optimistic about what life and menopause and midlife can be for all women. Gorgeous. So last question, Sandra, if someone was considering working with myself and Ian, what would you say to them? I would say, don't hesitate. Trust, trust the process. Don't, don't question, don't go into your head. Don't start wondering, is this the right thing to do? Follow the gut, follow what feels right. And just, and trust that they see what you don't see. It's an investment in your future. It's an investment in a quality of life that you can't fathom until you go through it. Um, you know, there were times, I'm not going to lie, that I kind of sat back and went, is this really what I should be doing? But again, you know, I, I trusted Shasta and Ian that they can see something that I can't. And they always had faith in me. And I'm going to get emotional again, but they always had faith in me when I didn't have faith in myself. And the success is, is proving itself right now in what's happening and in the messages that I'm getting from women that were at the event on the day of the event that are continuing to come in. I, if, if anyone is questioning working with, with Shasta and Ian, don't question it, just do it, just trust the process and you'll, you'll see the benefits. Absolutely. You may not know it, but you're going to see it.